look at all these people. What do they need in their lives? Some excitement. A little magic. And you think you can deliver that? Magic. Thespis? Are you acting in another play? Ali... Allo... Alexios! Aristophanes' friend! And my friend, too. I'd be nowhere without your support. I suppose if I hadn't carried you out, you might still be in that tavern. On the floor! Thespis had this brilliant idea to put on a play in this town. He's got a reputation as a great actor, so I thought... This could be a huge success! I'm beginning to think I thought wrong. No, no, everything is under control. You keep an eye on the ticket sales, my darling Rodanti, and my friend Alexios will take care of everything else. I promise you, I know nothing about theater. Don't be so modest. You'll be known as the hero who made Leonidas and his 300 Spartans the play of the century. The play is about King Leonidas? You know, my family... Your family can come, of course. I'm sure they'll be proud to see you. Just help me tell that glorious hero's tale. I'll help Thespis put on the play. The story of Leonidas must have its due. Very well, then. I expect you to deliver. So what do you need done? Bring wine. Not for me, for our audience. So you think the audience won't listen to the tale of Leonidas unless they're drunk? They won't be drunk, just appreciative. Where are you keeping the wine? Well, I had wine, but then the local military commander commandeered... Hey, I should put that in the script. The Persian commander commandeered the, uh, casks. That's it. Then I'll have to re-commandeer it myself. Where is this commander? He kept the expensive wine and left the rest for his soldiers. An ordinary audience might be content with the cheaper drink. If we serve the best wine, we could get a more sophisticated audience. It might be harder to get to, but worth it. You speak my language! Better wine could mean a more generous crowd. Where are the two places the wine is being stored? Most of it is in the stable of Ares. But the good stuff? That's in the Miurgi Fort. I'll take care of everything. There's the stables. The wine in there should be good enough for horses, at least. That's the wine Thespis wanted me to bring for the audience. It doesn't smell great, but it should be reasonable.
μια πίθνουσα αναμένουσα τον νέκη. I found your wine. Wonderful! Our guests will be in a fantastic mood before the play even starts. I sampled the wine. It's not vinegar, at least. Maybe I can offer some discounted tickets in the poorer parts of town. So, when will I be able to see this play? Well, there is a little complication with the cast. Finding them, I mean. You've lost your actors. None of them showed up at the last rehearsal. And the time before that, they seemed terribly discouraged. Someone might have been too harsh with them. No one will get paid if they don't come back. Exactly. There's three of them in all. They're playing Ephialtis, Xerxes, and the Enikis. I can give you an idea of where they might be. So, who's playing Leonidas? I am, of course. I trust no one but myself to carry the starring role. So Xerxes, king of the Persians, is in your play? Yes, and I found a tremendous actor to play him. He plays marvelous villains. He did mention that the Dispontian ruins were inspiring him. The Anikis. That was Leonidas' favorite lieutenant. Yes, and played by a charming young fellow. A bit of a nervous type, though. I was surprised when he told me he was going gambling in the great square here in Elise. So the traitor, Ephialtes, is missing. What a surprise. Usually, my good friend Tros is dedicated to his craft. But the last time we spoke, he seemed touched by a certain religious fervor. He said he would pray at the Spring of Piera. I hope the actors turn up. When you find our actors, send them back to me. And do your best to encourage them. Our performance will be terrible if the actors' hearts aren't in it. And that means no one will pay us. Got it. <laughs>